everyone and welcome back to the Love Music Shelter YouTube channel where I bring you inspiring stories of hope and change from homeless and formerly homeless talented artists musicians. My name is Alex Shotland and I'm developing a feature film called Love Music Shelter. We want to change the homeless culture in New York City and around the world. So if you like what you see today, subscribe, like us on Facebook, Instagram, text all your friends all about us. There's links below. I've got the talented, soulful singer, Russia. I met Russia about a year ago on the train. She was singing this beautiful song and my heart just stopped. We are capable of changing things. We can change somebody's day, or we can change somebody's life. We can change the world. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your strength. I'll help you carry on. She's completely inspirational, and she once was homeless. This is Russia. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Russia, thank you so much for coming on the show. We need people like Russia to come on and talk about their stories. And that way, we're going to provoke change and raise awareness in the homeless situation in New York City. How long did you find yourself in a shelter? Um, I was in and out of the shelter system for about five years. Would you tell everybody out there about your experience in the homeless shelter and like what your day-to-day -day was like? Um, it was very difficult, I, I have to be honest. Um, day to day, it was, it was different because I was at many different shelters. Um, if I would come in too late, they might transfer me to another shelter or I would have to wait to get another bed. Did you feel safe at the shelter? Did you ever experience violence? Um, I basically had to protect myself. I, I was having fights with people that were way older than me, arguments with them. I feel like there was a lot of miscommunication. If they could give us school while we're there, that would be so great. Um, even if it's just knowing how to interact with your loved ones, your family members, that would be really great. Education. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the one, the, one of the things I've learned from interviewing many homeless teenagers and volunteering at places like The Door is that the education is lacking. Mm. And what do you think it would take to get the, sh the shelters to be safer so your stuff doesn't get stolen, so you don't get beat up? I feel like people take things steal because they feel like they need it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I feel like it needs to be more... We need to teach people to be more independent. Mm -hmm. uh, show them that material things don't have as much value as they think it does. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, like I said, learning how to communicate. You're off the streets now, right? I know that. Mm -hmm. So you're not on the streets anymore. How did you, maybe you could tell everyone out there in case they're experiencing homelessness or they're in the shelter. How did you get off the streets? Who helped you the most? Was there an organization? You know, and what are you doing now? Give us a little bit of a flash forward from being on the streets. Okay, um, well, while I was in the shelter the last time, I uh, actually got more knowledge okay. to the fact that they help you get an apartment. Okay. And so are you in supportive housing now? Yes. Okay, that's great. Yes. But how long did it take for you to get to the supportive housing? Um, like I said, I was in and out of the shelter for five years. Um, so in and out so of shelters just, for five yeah. years. Mm -hmm. Now, when you were in and out of the shelters, did you find yourself also sleeping on the subway, sleeping in the beach, sleeping yes. anywhere else, or was it just shelters and then supportive housing? Yeah, there were numer numerous places that I was seeing um, abandoned buildings with my friends, sleeping on the train, like you said. If you could say something to yourself and to our friends out there for a piece of advice to you five years ago, what would you say? What would you say? Um, I would say never give up on yourself and your dream. That is what got me this far, is just every single day I think about my goals and I just try to find something that I can do to get me closer to them. Mm -hmm. So that's basically and it. And what is your ultimate goal? Like what do you, what, you know, close your eyes and you can do anything. What is it? My ultimate goal is to be on stages all over the world performing for people. I bring you Russia. What are you singing today, Russia? I'm singing Lean On Me. Okay. Take it away, girl. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend 
And I'll help you carry on For it won't be long Until I'm gonna need Somebody to lean on Call on me brother When you need a hand We all need somebody to lean on Thank you Yeah Thank you I love Thank you so much, it It's beautiful Thank you. you said some inspirational words When I was on the train It just just lit me up inside. Can you share those words with everybody out there? Okay, um, I'm here to share some kind words of advice and give you some encouragement if it comes in handy to you. I was homeless on and off for about five years. Should you ever find yourself in a situation where you have nowhere to go, call 311. They'll help you find your nearest homeless shelter. The shelter will help you find housing and they'll also help you pay for it as well. We need wonderful people in this world in order for us to be wonderful as well. It all starts with me and you. Beautiful. That is so Thank beautiful. You. Thank you, you so, much. so much. I am definitely going to hit you up once our funding comes through for Love Music Shelter. I would love you to be in the movie. And you guys out there, if you like what you heard, if you like Russia, Give us a thumbs up, share your stories, hashtag love music shelter, comment below or tag us. Get involved. There's a donate tab on the bottom, there's a get involved tab on the bottom. And hey, if you want to be on the show and you want to sing or perform or do a piece of poetry, just give me a shout. And remember, love heals and nobody ever chooses to be homeless. I'm Alex Shotland for the Love Music Shelter channel. Peace. Mm -hmm.